WK Today is coming alive. <laughs> Good morning, Captains. Today is Wednesday, October 24th, 2012, and I'm Christian Kettenbile. I'm Grace Hazlett, and this is WK Today, coming to you live from Studio 304A with your daily news. After school today, the BPA will have a meeting. SAFE will also have a meeting from 2.40 to 3.30 in room 217. There will be a PPI training tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Trainees should go to A lunch, then report to the LGI. The training is mandatory for all PPI members. Our neighboring high school, Mott, has instituted a new policy that requires students to wear ID badges. WKHS TV reporters found out all about it. On Monday, October 15th, Waterford Mott administration gave their students the directive to wear lanyards containing identification at all times during the school day. The wearing of IDs and, and lanyards is all part of our uh, positive behavior and intervention system that we put into place this year. Um, it's basically a, a, a reteaching of some of the expectations that we have. It's all part of making sure that we have the positive culture that we want to have here in the building. One aspect of that, one small aspect of it, is asking all of our students to uh, wear their ID prominently so that we can kind of get to know them a little bit better. Our biggest reason, however, is that we really felt like it's a part of showing that you belong to our building and that's what we're trying to do is to create a culture of belonging here in this building. Um, we want students to, to be proud. We want them to wear their, their mock clothing, their mock badges, to show that this is the, the building that they belong to. Need for this program? It's amazing how you can be in one school district but have completely different student cultures. Um, you know, Mott and Kettering, uh, though we're a lot alike, I think we also have our own unique cultures. We have our own traditions. We have our own respective, you know, rituals and parts of our student body that, that, that we do. Um, and I think at this point, I, I, I don't know, because it's part of a PBIS program, which we have not integrated here at our student culture at Kettering, I don't really foresee it being implemented quite the same at this point. Now cultures change and needs arise and uh, sometimes the, the things shift on us, but at this point, October 16, 2012, I don't foresee having this implemented fully in the Kettering community. Thanks for the scoop on that story, Cody. There will be a robotics tournament in the South Gym tomorrow night from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So get out there and support our robotics team. The Halloween fun night is this Friday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. for anyone 12 and under, so make sure you go to that. If you have it. On Saturday, on Saturday, the ACT test will be offered at Mott High School. The test starts at 7.30 a.m. The Waterford Kettering Marching Band is in the running to be crowned the best in Metro Detroit. Go to www.tv20detroit.com slash contests to vote because the winner gets $1,000. Last year, Kettering started a new cell phone policy. Michael Kettenbeil, Nolan Moran, and Austin Med Medeiros decided to recap that for those of you who are new to it this year. Green means that cell phones can be used at any time and are in free range. However, you should be done with your work first before using them. Yellow means electronics can be used, but only with permission from a teacher. Red means that cell phones and other electronic devices are currently not allowed in the classroom at all. No questions asked. Thanks for the scoop on that, guys. Bowling season is coming up, so if you are interested in trying out for the bowling team, make sure to sign up in the athletic office. Also, there will be a parent meeting next Thursday, November 1st, in the LGI at 6.30 p.m. Kettering students Dante Allen and Talon Wall will be DJing on Friday at the WCA. The music and light show starts at 6.30 p.m. and tickets are $7. You can purchase tickets now or at the door. I actually heard that you can uh, purchase food tickets from uh, Talon and um, 
Dante. Yeah, Dante. Yeah, you can <laughs> good. That's <laughs> from both of them, and that's really cool. It's gonna be a pretty good thing. Are you gonna go? I'm thinking I'm gonna go. How about you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to make it. Right, Show fair. That's all we have for you today. So until next time, I'm Grace Hazlett. And I'm Christian Kettenbile. Have a great day, Captain.